Hello, my beautiful listeners, and welcome to today's episode of Life Podcast. Today we're discussing success. What is success, and what does it mean to you? The pursuit of success is an age-old discussion, so to understand this, I went back in time to see how success was viewed centuries ago. I turned to William Shakespeare, who is regarded as one of the greatest thinkers and writers in the English language. And I looked at his famous play called Macbeth. Macbeth is about the journey of a man who is so captured by the idea of success that he lets his greed take over his conscience. Essentially, Macbeth believes three witches who tell him that he could be king, so he goes around killing anyone who he sees as a threat to this vision, even his own friend, Banquo. By the time Macbeth becomes king, he has committed so many murders that he is constantly watching his back. He may have gained his goal, but he lost his peace of mind. And eventually, he is defeated and killed. Now at the beginning of the story, Macbeth was newly titled the Thane of Cawdor, so he could have easily had a very successful and happy life had he not let his greed play tricks on him. And who knows, maybe he could have also become king one day through his hard work. But instead, he chased the status of being a king without appreciating the prestige and honor behind the position. So let's come back to our present time and think for a moment. Are we really that different from Macbeth? Ask yourself, just like him, don't we all have three or more witches of our own sitting in our head, leading us astray? Sometimes, the greed of success steers us away from real success. And if you're making decisions from a place of fear and insecurity, then those decisions will never serve you or anyone. Just like success, power is about using your privilege to serve others instead of forcing others to serve you. If you can't comprehend this subtle key detail, then you might misinterpret what it means to be powerful and you might misuse your power without realizing it. For some people, a constant stream of victories at the expense of others ends up creating the delusion that they are untouchable. Then gradually, these individuals become so self-absorbed that they start seeing everybody else's hopes and dreams as an inconvenience to their more important plans. This is the total opposite of success, because some of the most successful people I've met are also some of the most humble and compassionate. Remember, we don't own this planet, we share it with our global family, our brothers and sisters worldwide, and this is a great privilege. I've also noticed that successful people keep changing. They don't fall in the trap of thinking that their way is the only way. Instead, they routinely challenge their own methods and are open to learning from others. It's a great thing to trust yourself, but it's also very valuable to consider a new perspective other than your own. We've all seen several teenage celebrities who gain too much power too soon. Surrounded by fame, fortune, and endless praise, they develop an arrogant sense of entitlement and they end up losing perspective of reality. And of course, we've all seen the heartbreaking consequences. Developing the skill of serenity requires self-discipline. But of course, today we live in a culture of instant gratification. So if people don't see the results of their efforts right away, then they tend to give up on their ideas. But let's pause for a moment and consider the laws of nature. When you plant a seed in the ground, you don't expect the seed to sprout into a tree right away. In fact, you realize that you need to water the soil regularly and put in the effort consistently. Just because you don't see the tree immediately doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Your efforts are contributing to the seed. And eventually, you see the manifestation of your daily efforts. Similarly, when you plant a great idea in your mind, then you can't give up if you don't see the results right away. You must foster your idea and work on it regularly to help it grow. And then, when you've done your part, you need to let go and allow the universe to do its part. You see, a gardener doesn't obsess about the tree's exact structure and stature, because there are other factors beyond our control that also design the tree. In this case, things such as sunshine, the weather, and the tree's own DNA. So while it's good to have a vision of the end result, 
we must also have the intelligence and humility to work in partnership with the universe instead of trying to control it. If you keep obsessing about how things will turn out, then you'll start micromanaging every aspect of your life, and that'll drive you crazy. So instead, when you're putting in your effort, just remember to also leave some room open for Mother Nature's guidance. Your life is a very interesting garden though. Here, trees will grow automatically based on what you think every day. People sometimes think that failure is a cataclysmic event that just happens. But just like success, failure is also the result of all your accumulated daily thoughts and decisions. When you don't believe in yourself or others, think of how that influences you and what kind of actions you would take with that mindset. Think of what kind of tree you are planting in your life. Success is a beautiful gift, but if you want to master success, you must be willing to be the student first. You must be willing to work on yourself, exercise self-discipline, and truthfully assess your strengths and your challenges. This practice can help you build a strong foundation as you move forward in life. How you treat people is also a big indicator of lasting success. Learn to value people because we each have unique abilities that contribute to one another. Think about it, we never have to think twice about who spends their time stitching our clothes, who farms our food, or who stands outside in the scorching sun all day, building our cities and high-rise buildings. We enjoy our comforts today because of the hard work of others. Our clothes, our houses, and our lifestyle are all made possible because other people are willing to do jobs that we may not be able to do. And we must recognize that effort. Our success would not be possible without the collective efforts of others, because our world has a symbiotic nature. Essentially, we are co-creating this planet together. But when you operate from a mindset of scarcity, then you view success as a limited commodity, and you desperately try to protect your share of success by seeing everyone else as a threat to your livelihood. But just as we saw with Macbeth, a whole lot of money without any sense of compassion can lead to empty lives and lost souls. Passion and greed are two very different intentions and we must learn to differentiate between the two. And money can't buy loyalty or sincerity. Those are priceless gifts that you have to earn. No one wants to be treated like a slave. Everyone, including those with the lowest paying jobs, all deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Remember, we all have hopes and dreams and every life matters. So to move forward in life, you must keep a balanced perspective in life and understand that wealth comes in many forms. Just think of all the things you take for granted today, all the things that at one point in your life you had wished for, and today they are a reality, but you don't even think about them anymore. We tend to become complacent and ungrateful when we are surrounded by the same things every day, so we don't even notice them anymore even if it's your desired career, or your own health, or the amazing people and experiences in your life. These are all part of your wealth. Despite having so much in life, you still have some people complaining or feeling sorry for themselves. We've all been there. But just realize, even if you got that amazing thing that you're looking for right now, you're eventually going to get bored of it if you continue to stay ungrateful for what you have today. This is because learning to appreciate the new things in your life requires you to recognize all the existing things you currently have in your life. This practice changes your habit of focusing on negativity and shifts your mind to identify all the miracles in your life. So when something good does come to you, you will be better able to recognize and appreciate it because your mind will be trained to look for all the good that comes in your life instead of complain about what's not right. 
The more you shift your focus to solutions and possibilities, the more likely you will be matched to positive circumstances. Think of all the amazing things in your life. If you can't think of anything right now, which I highly doubt because everyone has something great in their life, but if you can't think of anything right now, then just think of the incredible time that you're born in. You don't even have to mail a letter to your friends anymore. You can instantly send them a text or an email or even see them live through video conferencing. All these things would have once been considered magic. In fact, kings and queens of ancient times would have given great treasures just to experience this technology. But you live in a time that's surrounded by this and so much more. You practically have access to unlimited information at your fingertips. So take things one step at a time and build a solid foundation in your life. Think about this. If you ate your entire life's meals in one day, you could get very sick. And life is just like that. You want to be able to savor each moment in life to build on to the next. Okay, so we know that the definition of success may be different for every individual, but there are definitely some common traits of successful people that are worth noting. Things such as keeping an open mind, practicing self-discipline, living in gratitude, being the best version of yourself instead of imitating others, and of course, having a goal that not only helps you, but also helps others. Remember, success is also about helping each other become successful. So I want you to look deep inside your heart and feel the things that give you joy. Create a plan that can practically fit in your life, then design your own definition of success and soar beyond the skies. Until next time, I wish you all the success. And remember to live your highest potential.